Hey guys, we're back with another fiscal week here at HighSpotsAuctions.com. Today is my guest Presley and his mom. And his mom, <laughs> Taya. Yeah, that Taya girl. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Taya, for uh, joining us today. I know you two uh, had a busy day of travel and. Oh, thank you for having me. It's my first time being here at the High Spots headquarters. The world famous High the Spots. The world home. famous. We'll give her give you the full tour later. Yes. <laughs> but uh, you know, guys, you know how this works. You can go to HighSpotsAuctions.com. You have an opportunity to select, I think, one of five different promotional shots. We have an art piece tonight, and do we still have any FTC figures? We have four FTC <laughs> figures still available. They were uh, we actually got. Uh, we brought in a lot, so Ty has sold a lot of those FTC figures. I mean, I know that's not your favorite figure, but uh, it's still it's, a figure. It's still, it's still <laughs> selling well, and I think we sold out of turnbuckles, right? Yeah, or do we have one yes. left? The turnbuckles are so cute. So if you actually got one, good for you. Yeah, we we <laughs> like it to where the turnbuckles saw it in advance. That becomes very collectible. And a couple of things that we do not feature in here. If you can see this, we did get the micro brawler in, but we got it in after our Sunday drop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this, she signed these, we're gonna put these on Thursday. So you have an incentive to join us on Thursday. These are autographed micro brawlers and tie-in. So we're not gonna sell these tonight, but they will be on BGT on Thursday. And uh, she's also signing an exclusive print that we're not gonna show tonight that she'll also have on Thursday as well. So Special stuff. Special stuff for sure. <laughs> and uh, guys, a couple of reasons, a couple of things we wanna to talk to you about before we get started. We got a lot of orders, so we're gonna probably cut the Personalization's off, what do you think, about 7.45 tonight? About 7.45, so you have about 45 minutes to go online. Free inscriptions tonight, guys. We're not up charging for inscriptions. Uh, you know, Hold on, let's, let's, let's have a talk about the verbiage. Okay. We've learned this week. Inscription means, guys, we've designated what she's going to write. Personalization is where we they can ask for a request. Yes, but on the pictures, they can they can well, make a short. But yeah, yes. because we have inscriptions that we've selected, right. and personalizations are what they get to choose. Gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, we are back from Texas. We're still filtering through the mountain of orders. We went to Texas for a full week. We spent time with Terry Funk, Stan Hansen, and we did privates with Sting and Dustin Rhodes. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And then, uh, unfortunately, some, some of us, not, not this guy, had to drive all the way back from Amarillo, which is like 20 hours. Ah, uh, yeah, that's so. far. It is far. And they got back on Sunday. Everything was safe. It was great. But we're still packing and filling these orders. So I'd say we're a little more than halfway done. So I think we're projecting to get all the orders out by Thursday. So if you don't see your tracking numbers, don't panic. Trust me, we are working overtime to make sure all the packages hit the mail. Uh, one other note that I have to read to you is, because it's created a lot of controversy, we did just drop our entire February schedule. Someone can queue up the whole schedule right now. Uh, we may be adding one more name wedged in there at the end of the month, but for the most part, this is going to be an accurate listing of our next three weeks concerning mail orders. We are taking mail orders on each and every one of the guests. However, I have to be very clear, Kevin Nash will not sign anything that is non-authorized uh, anything. So all you guys that are sending in like NWO stuff that's not authorized, like not, not WWE compliant, uh, he will not sign it. So just uh, if, you, if you're not sure what that means, send us a message on Facebook and we'll certainly talk to you more about it. But if it is, I don't know why Chelsea's losing her mind over there. <laughs> Officially licensed products, folks. Right. That's all so, we can say. I'm watching quite the show that's going on. <laughs> yeah. So guys, if you're unclear of what that means, just, just send us a message, send us a picture of your item, and we'll be happy to tell you whether we believe he will sign it or not. The, the truth of the matter is, is Kevin gets a lot of royalties from the WWE for the NWO brand, and he does not want to do anything to jeopardize that. So just be respectful Buy of that. Buy the proper stuff. That's right. Buy the proper <laughs> stuff. So if it's an NWO t-shirt with WWE tags, it's all good. If it's an NWO t-shirt that you bought at, like, uh, Redbubble, he's not going to sign it, and he'll know the difference. So just, uh, just a little source. I don't want anybody to send their stuff in and not get it signed and be disappointed. Other than that, you know, we got Kurt Angle, we got Tori William, Tor Tori Wilson. We just announced Wilson. Wilson. Tori Wilson. Oh, believe me, I'm excited about that one. Ro Rosemary Effie. Yay, a Rosemary. Anna, Anna <laughs> J. Tay Conti, Powers of Pain, and then one week from today we got Brooke Hogan. How about that? So, and then of course this Thursday we have uh, Josh's favorite, Josh's favorite Brody King, all the way from Los Angeles, uh, a little town you're familiar with. Yep. So. 
we have two Californians in here today. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's... We got out. We got out alive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you were telling me about how restrictive it's been in California. Yes. And that, uh, when you go to other places, it's like a different... It's a whole other world, a whole other planet, but it's nice to... I love California. That's where we have our home and everything, but uh, it's been nice to kind of venture out a little bit. Sure. So. Yeah, Florida has uh, a few different rules. And, you know, yeah, we, Texas, we have them. here's different. Everywhere's yep, different. different. <laughs> All right, guys, well, let's get started. Like I said, right now you have about 40 minutes to go to highspotsauctions.com and pick out one of your many items that you can get signed tonight. Like we said, we have uh, four FTC figures left, so they'll certainly be gone in the next half an hour or so. So don't get shut out if that's something you want. So first, we're going to start with a mail order. We have this from Joseph Gonzalez in Bronx, Bronx New York. Sweet. Just, uh, let's see, nothing, just your signature. And it's probably a gold. Gold, I'd say gold or silver, yeah. We, we generally don't use silver here because sometimes it doesn't write very clean. So The metallics are always an issue. Yeah, but, you know? but silver more so than gold. Is this also for Joseph? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Joseph. All right. One more for Joseph. Gold as well? Yep. Yeah. All right. There Thank you, go. Joseph. Should I just put those on top of each other? Hand, hand them back out. to you? Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Next up. That was it from LA. That was all right. Well, we we, did, we didn't have a lot of mail-ins because we actually didn't uh, disclose that your appearance was until about a week ago. So I know. Surprise. <laughs> Richard Reese. I think you might have a lot of other things going on right now. We're uh, we weren't sure what no, you're No, I just right. got out of jail. Right. It's been yeah. rough. <laughs> all right. So what we are going to do? This is going to be for Richard Reese on these FTC figures. We have. Pre-selected, the only thing you've signed. So yep. we're going to do Vera Loca, right? Yep. Vera Loca. How did you say that? Vera Loca. Okay. There we go. <laughs> My second language. Also, um, we need to talk about the shirt that you're wearing. Ha! <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. I mean. I haven't paid you yet. Come on. That, but I'm just saying, next time just ask me and I'll bring you a I, well, Loca by Ty Valkyrie I know. Well, now I was, available at tyvalkyrie.com. We, we were hoping that you'd bring a whole bunch of that stuff <laughs> and maybe we'd buy it before it even went on sale. But, you know. Michael, look at your we'll phone. We'll talk afterwards. <clears throat> look at your phone. Look at your phone. So, where... <laughs> just, just watch. Just wait. We put a don't be like Michael. Don't be like that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> See, they're giving, they're giving you a plug on your Look on your at plug. that. Thank you, everybody. Mm, mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> so do you want me to yeah. say what yeah, I our, our boy Caleb with a K got hooked up with some. You know, we're just, I know. Mm. He like took some quite these modeling pictures pretty much. Looks Something great. he's good at. Looks Standing great. around taking pictures. Caleb with a K. All right, so. Where loca and then my signature like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, I should move this over a little bit, right? I'm afraid to like grab something. I know. Thinking Presley the... might be like, hey, no. don't come near my mom. No, well, you guys are all, you're we're all cool good. now. <laughs> I, I, I hooked him up with some water and some food. I think we're yeah, he positive now. rolled around in the food. <laughs> all right. Michael Parker, same thing. We're going to just stick with the same inscription, the cool. same signature. I mean, a lot of people are probably wondering, like, why didn't I get to select what I want on these figures? Well. It's, it's your fault, guys, because you'll give us this novel, and then you have this small little space here. You don't want to cover the whole entire figure. Right, so you have to be reasonable, so. Oh! Oh! Hey. oh. <laughs> All right, Joseph Lacurzi, Cross River, New York. Joseph. Did I say that last person's name when they say I didn't Michael sign? Michael Parker! Michael Parker, that last one was yours. Thank you, Michael. This is Joseph Lacurzi, Cross River, New York. Right, there you go, Joseph. All right, we are on Adam Del Gross, Ruffsdale, Pennsylvania. Adam, is it? That's right. But they, I know. I know. You know the rules. <laughs> Presley, do you know the rules? One person sees their name, everyone's going to go, what about my? What about my? Well, there it is. Thank you, Michael. Or, sorry. Adam. Adam. Ah! All right, now we're on Francis McNamara, all the way in Francis. Quebec City. Bonjour, comment ça va? <laughs> Watch 
catch up with that one. So it's a little bit wet. All right, guys, don't don't smear this one. Don't make her sign it twice. <laughs> Eric Theory, McKinney, Iowa. Eric. All right. Just so I know we have three of those figures left. See, I told you they're going to go fast. I should have ordered another case. I think I ordered two and a half cases. Yep. So we, uh, we awesome. usually Thank you guys. We usually order one or maybe two. And Sweet. All right, this is for Dan Hawkins, Bridgeport, West Virginia. Sweet. All right, yeah, Dan. You were mentioning this outfit you had worn like one time, right? I wore this, and honestly, it wasn't pink. It was red. The whole thing was red. When I wrestled, when I, like, I managed Johnny Mundo mm -hmm. at Triple Mania when he faced Pentagon, and actually, I was managing Pentagon, and then I turned on him and went with Johnny Mundo. Okay. So it was a very controversial uh match but yeah the colors aren't right but whatever but it was your first action figure yes it was so you can't complain <laughs> and she let us know you have a new action figure on the way yes legends of lucha libre is putting out an action figure as well as a new fashion doll in the kind of barbie style um and both of them are wearing different style, different colored gear. One is in orange, I believe. The other one is in white and blue, but I may be wrong. It might be in pink. Maybe they hadn't decided 100%. And the fashion doll actually comes with a Presley figure. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good selling point. There, you know, Presley. right? Presley, yeah. I hope you got some royalties too. Mm, he's, we're in negotiations yeah. right now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jose Salgado in Brooklyn, New York. Jose! Yeah. And guys, we're gonna we're gonna open up the bids in a little bit, but there's three items tonight that we're gonna go for auction. We have two earmuffs that are that ring are worn. ring worn, mm -hmm. and then you have the entire outfit that we wore at the last Impact pay per view, which turned out to Hard be to kill. the last Impact pay per view that Ty participated. Yep. So these are obviously totally custom Swarovski crystals, ring worn. Very special. You will never see anything like this again. And, and so. that is like a, a big one piece open on the a side. A one piece, the uh, earmuffs, earmuffs, the wrist scar cuffs, and then the boot covers. So you can, a whole mannequin can be uh, decked out. This one's going to be from Mariah Santana. Mariah, all right. McKenna, Washington. But before we get to that, we're gonna we're gonna auction off the smaller individual ring worn. Earmuffs. Maybe we'll start one right now. In fact, yes. Which one? We're gonna go. We got white pair and a black pair. Black or white? Which one? Let's go white. Let's go white first. There we go. Bam. All right. Now I'm guessing you probably don't know exactly when you wore this, but this is this These is are authentic. Yes. You could, you could From, see a little bit of there's the, makeup on. A little bit of the makeup. <laughs> Presley's here to model. There you go, Presley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we. Like everything, we'll start these at uh, you know five dollars, but I mean, be respectful. This is uh, ring worn material. She'll autograph it for you, however yeah. you want. I'll, I'll probably try to autograph it across the top, um, and just let me know what you'd like me to write on it. So for you. just put white earmuffs and put bid, so that way we know what the the bid is. So cool. Start that right there, and we'll just continue doing the signing. So that was from Mariah. Now we're on Ashley Ward in West Virginia, also. That's two for West Virginia. Awesome. Okay. All right, there you Thank go. You, Thank you, Ashley. All right, John Minacucci in uh, Glassport, Pennsylvania. Got uh, several items here. We'll start. John, with what a great name you have. It's wonderful. <laughs> Did I say that right? Minicucci, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. This will also be everyone's first chance to see two of the promos and the art piece that we're that we have for sale. This is uh, tell us a little more. Do you remember any details about that particular shop? This was taken, I believe, in the summer, just because I can kind of remember when gear was from mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, during the tag tournament I wore that with Rosemary in the uh, knockouts tag tournament all right great yeah. let's do that one in gold we don't like doing paint pen on paper mm -hmm. nope just the signature uh, yep just your signature all right 
this later, but I know we have 30 minutes left on personalizations. You heard the man. 30 <clears throat> minutes to get your order in at highspotsauctions.com. We'll do that one in blue right there in the top right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And this one he actually did, and I don't even know what color we should start with that. What do you think? I don't mm -hmm. even know because there's so much color going on. So much color. I feel it's... like this photo is from a promo shot I did for Lucha Baboon. Okay. That's what this... I think that this painting is like designed from the con. And this is nuclear heat, so it's Shasheen in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia area. Sweet. Cool. Uh, let's try blue. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I was gonna say like up here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So it's in good space. And he wants it to be two JT. Mm -hmm. Just two JT. Mm -hmm. Man, and I think we're gonna get this question a lot, so I'm gonna let you field it however you want. And this is the only time. <laughs> it's the only time I'm gonna answer it or ask it because I'm uh -huh. sure it's probably a lot of other people's thing. Would you prefer AEW or WWE? People, there's a rumor out there that maybe you're going somewhere. So we'll just we'll get past it right now. You can answer it however you Bless wish. It. Which I'm sure it's going to be politically correct and not, <laughs> very evasive. So one time, guys, I asked her. All right. Uh, well, I really enjoy both products. Obviously, I'm a wrestling fan. Always have been. That's a lot. A lot of people that get in wrestling are wrestling fans. Surprise. Um, and honestly, I don't know what's going to happen next for me because, as a lot of people don't realize, is that I have been signed for about eight and a half years, you know, through in, from AAA into Lucha Underground into Impact. And this is actually my first ever time in my career as Field, a free building agent. Building free agent offers. How about that? So uh, it's a really important time for me to really think about what's important for me, for my family, and uh, make the best decision moving forward for my career. Sure. So we will see. It will all play out. Don't worry. See, guys, if you thought she was answering that tonight, you're <laughs> out of your mind. So. All right. So. And that's it? Two JT the, and then of course JT? your signature. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't know if you had some other thing on there. Thank you, JT. All right, we have Jay Corrales. Start with the Pink. figure. All right, and he wants this one made out 2J. So I'd say either gold in the bottom left or blue in the top right. I'm going to do top right. Top right. And fun fact about this photo, Gail Kim took this photo. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Backstage after Hard to Kill last year. Okay. Yeah. She, do, she did double duty as the photographer, too. Yeah, well, we always just take pictures of each other. Sure. You know, and this was uh, my Corolla DeVille gear that I wore that day was one of my favorites. This is going to be 2J. Okay. J-A-Y. J has a great question for you. Mm -hmm. Trader Joe's or Whole Foods? Trader Joe's. Yeah. Uh, because when I was growing up, I'm Canadian. Whenever we would come into the states to go like back to school shopping mm -hmm. in like Washington, and <laughs> if we would drive to California, my mom was like obsessed with Trader Joe's. So I just always remember her being like, "Oh my God, Trader Joe's!" So it's always kind of just been this thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm partial to Trader Joe's myself. So. I feel like Whole Foods is great, but it's just a little bit, you know. It's a little overpriced, mm -hmm. and I think it's a lot of hype. Trader Joe's has great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Jay. All right, Donald Martucci, Bridgeport, Texas. So, figure. All right. Donald also got one of these nuclear heats here. He wants it made out to Donald. All right. Donald asked the question, who is someone you think more fans should know about? And I'll, I'll make it more restrictive. Uh, someone who maybe hasn't been on TV. Some, somebody that you've run into and somebody that you think we're likely to discover soon that you're going to tell us about before we discover. Well, I am going to talk about someone who is one of my best friends, Heather Monroe, who is in California. She's been wrestling for about five years now. She has done some, you know, AEW Dark. She did some Impact. She's done um, a lot of the NWA stuff and the Championships of Hollywood when that was going on. Mm -hmm. And Primetime also in Los Angeles. I feel like there's so much talent in SoCal that people really need to pay attention to. We just don't get 
a lot of opportunities to come out to the East Coast where there has been more, you know, indie wrestling and stuff like that. So I think that everyone should pay attention to Heather Monroe. All right, Heather Monroe it is. Yep. Thank you, Donald. All right, Scott Caldwell, Tallahassee, Florida. Scott. Scott, keep that pen open for Marshall Sherman. Marshall, what up? In Brooklyn. Marshall also picked up this title photo here. Right. Just your signature. Just my signature? All right. I can tell you that this photo was taken in Windsor, Ontario at mm. tapings. <laughs> Marshall. All right, we are up with Karen Garrison from 96 South Carolina. Ever heard of that town? No. No, neither have we. <laughs> well, apparently, it's pretty close to us. So. Really? All right, I don't Karen. I've been to South Carolina. It's that bad. <laughs> much there's your figure all right and Karen also got two photos all right Let's start with that one really good gold on this one I think am I just personal am I just your signature just the signature yeah. all right all right and Karen also picked up this one. Oh my gosh this was taken at the Mayan Riviera Hard Rock in Mexico really like Eight years ago. No, it was probably like six years ago. But yeah, that's an oldie. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought it was that old. I can just tell by my hair. Yeah. <laughs> that's always the hair that gives it away for me. Um, what do you want to, what do we think here? I, I think, uh, yeah, I think maybe blue right Over in here. Over here? Yep. All right. Thank you, Karen. Put that with Karen's figure. Yep. Keep that paint pen out. Mm -hmm. For Jason Howard in Manchester, Ohio. Jason. Michael, if you want to let everybody know that we only have one figure left. One figure left. Thank wow. you, Jason. You're really making me regret not holding that extra case. But more importantly, where are we at on our first auction item? These white. Ring worn earmuffs. Uh, right now we're at uh, seventy dollars with Michael Brewer. Sweet, right. thank you guys. Keep them, keep it going. Seventy is a good start, but we'll keep this open a little longer here. Yep. Okay. Just had Emily Cease come in with a seventy-five dollar bid. Okay. Thank Luke you. Vandermark, you're up. Port Crane, New York. What's going on, Luke? Thank you so much. Thank you, Luke. Hector Rodriguez, San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Hector. You had mentioned that you have done one independent show in COVID, right? One. In Texas. Yes. Versus Heather. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one state that we visited uh, on indie shows in approximately the last year. All right. Hector has asked if there's any advice that you give to young talent. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many, so many things I could say, but I think the most important thing, especially if you haven't started at all, is to find the best school and the best training facility, because I was very lucky to find Lance Storm in Canada, and luckily I was in the same city as him, and so it was, and he was just influenced me in such a positive way throughout my entire career, and your teachers are not just going to be there for that beginning of your career. A good teacher is there for you throughout it. You know, he still checks in on John, because he, he trained John, too. Um, at OVW and he checks in with me and so it's like do you, they're a person you'll have for your entire career and uh, he was the greatest teacher and I feel that everybody should have the, the best teacher so try to find the best teacher ask around do some research and uh, yeah find someone that you think is the perfect fit for you good good answer all right Joseph Lanza you're up Joseph so this one here had uh, Pictures as well. Oh, 
You're on it. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Joseph Lanza in Paquionoc, New Jersey. All right, Jose Tanoka, Rochester, New York. This one's for you. Jose. All right, Jose All right. has used our option of getting personalizations. All right. He would like you to write Para Jose mm -hmm. from La Loca. Oh, yeah. Got it. And he's also asked if you had a favorite match, if there was one that stands out for you. Oh, my gosh. I don't necessarily think that I have just one. I think I have, like, favorite rivals more than I have just one specific match, and I would say Ayako Hamada with our work in AAA and our street fight that we had, our Tijuana street fight, like two and a half years ago. I feel like my feud with Tessa Blanchard was an amazing feud. I loved our match at Madison Square Garden. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot in there. I mean, I loved feuding with Rosemary, and I also loved partnering with Rosemary. I don't know. I've been really lucky that I've had such really cool, smart, um, you know, talented women to face mm -hmm. over my career. So, yeah. All right, another one for Jose. He would like this one to read to Jose 377 days as champ. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Jose asked, what got you into wrestling? We knew you did disclose that you started with uh, Lance, but mm -hmm. you, you, did like, uh, you did like fitness, right? And yeah, I was, lifting, power I was lifting a, little bit and a fitness competitor before I was a wrestler because I wanted to be like Tori Wilson, Victoria, and Trish Stratus. <laughs> and I didn't know how to get into wrestling in Calgary, Canada. So uh, that's how I got into it. And actually, it was through you know, doing fitness competition that I actually got my first WWE tryout like over 10 years ago when I had no training. So even before you went to Lance's, you had a tryout? Yes, oh. because I had, uh, I had like talked, they had like, uh, you know, seen pictures of me and stuff like that. And then I went to the Arnold Classic and I came in second and then I got a call and went and did a tryout and then I was told no. <laughs> but they did tell me to go find Lance and uh, they did So they're the ones that, that said, go find Lance. You didn't know. I didn't know about Lance, wow. no. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of moving parts that all kind of Right. funneled in together. Maybe things don't work out the first time. Maybe things don't work out the second time, but like everybody's supposed to have their own path and their own career and something that was good for someone someone isn't necessarily good for me and vice versa. So you never know. I have a very different and weird story about wrestling than, <laughs> than most people do, but that's what makes me different and that's what sets me apart. So. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Jose. All right. Hemuel Cruz, Naples, Florida. Guys, you have 15 minutes, exactly 15 minutes to place your orders at highspotsauctions.com. Do we still have Only one? Only 15 minutes, guys. Do we have one We've lingering sold figure? Out of all external, uh, turnbuckles and figures. All right, you heard the man. There's not a single awesome. turnbuckle, not a single FTC figure. We are down to artwork and promos. And, and of gear. Course, we're going to get to it. But <laughs> where are we at? Are we still at 75? Should we yeah, close this one? We're still holding up to Emily Cease at 75. So All we're right. going to go ahead and give it. 30 seconds. So this one is Emily Cease, $75. One more chance to get a bit in. If you miss out on this one, we have a, a black pair exactly like this one coming up. Like these ones that I'm wearing but, right now. Yeah. But this one, white's really good for autographing. See it really well. So $75, Emily Cease. And I see Michael Brewer yep. responded to my call. $80 to Michael Brewer. Emily, step up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Richard Howe. Richard Howe. Mm -hmm. With a figure and a picture. Richard. There you go. Thank you. Boop. And Richard just wants your signature on that. Mm hmm. Richard has asked the question, do you have any good pranks, like stories, like, you know, 
I know in Mexico, our people <laughs> really like to pull some pranks in the back. Pranks? I don't... I mean, I'll be honest, there was not really a lot of stuff that was done to me, prank-wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I really don't have any... There's no... I haven't had... I've been very lucky, and that does not mean people have started ribbing me. So it's, <laughs> it's not an invitation to start. But yeah, I mean, things like moving your gear around and things, you know, of that right. nature that are pretty harmless. But I have been lucky, and I would like to keep it that way. <laughs> Aaron Board, Partridge, Kentucky. Aaron. All right, I see Emily is out. Michael Brewer is at $100, waiting on Mike Parker. Awesome, guys. So there you go. Aaron. All right, Ernest Hawkins, Newton, North Carolina. That's Bobby. Bobby. Hawkins. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Ta-da. All right, Glenn Harlow. Give it for Glenn. Awesome. Glenn. All right, Mike Peach, also fellow Canadian. Oh, where from? In Happy Valley, Goose Creek. Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. Yep, East Coast. Well, thank you, Mike. Mike has also picked up a picture. He'd like it to say to Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike's been visiting your website. He wants to know what inspired this year's Loka Winter Collection. Um, well, as some people may or may not know, this whole last year I've been in fashion school. And so a lot of the designs that were in the Winter Collection were actually just, they were all sketched by me. So that was the first time that I did, you know, from a sketch to a sample to the actual clothing that people could buy. So it was so much work and a lot of, um, like so much, you know, emotion and passion went into it. And uh, the new spring stuff should be coming out at the end of February. So you guys stay tuned for that at tyvalkyrie.com. And you can get on our subscription list through the website as well so that you'll be up to date on all the new releases that are coming out. Great. Oh. <laughs> oh, are we are we becoming better friends now? <laughs> I feel Which, like I, I got you water and food. I feel like, just scenery. I feel like I'm in for life now. All right, John Fox, Tennessee. Tennessee. I see we're up to 115 on these white earmuffs. Yep. It's a battle between the mics, Mike Parker and Michael Brewer. Who's it going to be? I feel like we have a starting point for whoever doesn't win this with the black ones. Yeah. All right, Joseph LaCurcy. This will be Too Big Joe. J-O-E. Too Big J-O-E. Yeah. Right. Not a question, but Joe is saying he can't wait to see where you end up next. Oh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. I'm saying you may have one of the greatest send-offs in, in a promotion history. I'm Usually currently out on bail. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. It was very, very fun to do. All right, Michael Payne, also from Canada, Ontario. Ontario. He wants this to be two Michael, M I C H A E L. Mm -hmm. Michael asked if you had any tips for people that are starting their fitness journey. Consistency. Definitely, I would say be consistent and realize that sometimes you're not going to feel like working out and it's okay. And just make sure that you're staying focused on what your end goal is and that it's not going to happen overnight and it's going to be a you know change of lifestyle more than it is a fitness journey. Ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes to get your personalizations in. 
for some reason you can't get to a computer, you're just, of course, you're probably on your phone watching. Uh, we will have a couple of non-inscribed pictures up uh, tomorrow. But if you want to get something personalized to yourself, you have 10 minutes. All right, Mark Martinez, Victoria, Texas. I'd like it to be two Mark, M-A-R-K. Mm -hmm. Are you an MMA fan? You know, I used to follow UFC a lot, like, years ago. And then when I moved to Mexico, I kind of lost, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just didn't know where to watch it, to be completely honest. <laughs> um, but I'm getting back into it. We just watched uh, the last UFC with Mer the McGregor fight, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. He has asked, who you think is the best UFC fighter ever? Oh. I'm going to go with the Canadian and say George St. Pierre. St. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Right, we have Nicholas Mastretta. We want you to put two Nick. Mm -hmm. We're a loca. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick. And I see Michael Brewer is currently at 135 for these ear muffs. So. 135 to Michael Brewer. It's like as Mike Parker said, he's out. Is he still in? All right, yeah, so we're letting him, in. letting him fight. Fight, fight, fight. And you had, <laughs> you had mentioned that uh, you were inspired to get into wrestling by you were a wrestling fan. Mm -hmm. You got into fitness because of uh, you said Tori, right? Yeah, Tori and Trish and Victoria. So, what woman from your past would you most want to work if, if you had that opportunity? Uh. Trish or Lita, for sure. Well, Trish or Lita. Yeah. Okay. Because Lita and I have a similar, you know, story of going to Mexico. She, yep. She was the first. She was the trailblazer. Yep. She, so. But you actually made uh, like a somewhat of a whole career out of being in Mexico. She yeah, just kind I've of had, like, bounced down Yeah, I had some really nice conversations about, about it with her. So yeah. I would love to wrestle her. That'd be a good one. Adrian Gallup, our first UK customer. All right. From Southampton. You can put two Adrian. Happy birthday. Adrian. How does he spell it? A D R I A N. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Adrian, she's not going to sing the song. We'll, we'll get shut off on Facebook. <laughs> Nobody you. wants to hear me sing that song. <laughs> All right. Michael, we got an out from Mike Parker. If you want to okay. give it to uh, 10 seconds for 135 to Michael Brewer, please. All right. Michael Brewer, 135, 10 seconds. Anybody coming in late? Have an opportunity. Well, otherwise, we'll let this go to uh, Michael Brewer. Five minutes left on personalization, guys. Right, we'll do one more, and we'll close that off. All right. This is for Laron Ford, right down the street in Rock Hill, South Carolina. To Tabitha. Tabitha. Yep. They've asked, do you collect anything? Do shoes count? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have large collections of sneakers and shoes. I'm, I've always been a shoe person since I was a little girl. So we can blame that so, on my mother. So one of those things where a whole closet of shoes, right? John actually turned one of the rooms in our house into a closet hurricane because really? I have so much, so many shoes. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea can verify that I did that for my wife. A whole room, a whole just yeah, for my closet place. room. There's a champagne fridge in there. It's very bougie. <laughs> All right, Michael Brewer, congratulations! Yay! We're gonna send you a um, uh, invoice right now for 135. Obviously, you'll get free shipping with that because you're over the hundred dollar threshold. And then just let us know how you want these signed. And uh, I'll pull these off camera. We'll bring them back on, so she'll sign on camera. But if you want to toss me the other. Give me, give me, ones. give me after we close personalizations. Really? Yeah. We can't do this one before. Well, we got this one. Someone's got a track thing. Do you mind tracking? Okay, thanks. All right, just put white earmuffs. Well, I knew Guys, that. we've already we've <laughs> already established <laughs> what the white ones went for. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and stop playing around, you can certainly start at five dollars. But we, we see that there's multiple people that are over a hundred dollars. So, if someone just wants to start us off at a hundred dollars and get this going, that'd be great. But just put bid black earmuffs. Also yeah. ring worn. Yep. Match exactly like the ones you're wearing. They're exactly today. like these ones. 
I would have worn those on tons of backstage segments for Impact and to the ring. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, we are on Kai Schultz. Kai Schultz wants this to Kai and then but knockout champ. Kai asked the question, I've read this three times now, and I'm not really sure, what do you wish more men in wrestling knew about women? Like women in wrestling? or I read it three times, and I'm not really even sure what that means, so I just read them. Sure. How about, <laughs> I'll, I'll, what do you wish more men in wrestling knew about women in wrestling? We'll just make it easy. I wish that men in wrestling realized how much it costs for a woman to be TV ready. <laughs> That's what I wish. From the tan, to the hair, to the makeup, to the diet, to the training, to the costumes, to everything. I believe, I, mean, I really hey. wish that guys, oh, Presley. Hey. I really wish that guys would understand how much money it costs <laughs> to look like a star. So Presley doesn't do this for everybody, right? Just me, right? Just you. Yeah, me and Presley. Are you guys friends now? We're, ri we're friends. Okay. Give you water. <laughs> Thank you, Kai. All right, we are up with Adam Barney. All right. This has to oh. be two Adam. Mm hmm Presley. I think he wants mom back. Well, you scratch Just give mom. me one second. <laughs> two Adam. Just working. Two Adam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you pass a message along to Donald uh, Mer Merritt in the comments? Okay. He has a bid on these, but he does not have an account at High Spots Auctions. Oh, Donald. Donald, you have to have a HighSpotsAuctions.com account, but your good news is you're going to have plenty of time to create one because it takes about 30 seconds at most. So go ahead to go to HighSpotsAuctions.com, create an account, and then we will certainly acknowledge your bid for these earmuffs. But until then, we cannot do so. All right, there's Adam's. All right, Adam, I, I don't know if you even eat steak, but this is a I question do. that everybody <laughs> asks every week, and it started with Arn Anderson. Very important. Best place to get a steak. Okay, well, in Canada, we would always, I mean, and I'm sure there's more, you know, higher price places to get steak, but we'd always go to the keg in Calgary mm -hmm. to eat steak. And um, in L.A., I would think that, like, the best steak I've had is, I think it's called Boa. Yeah. Okay. So those are my those are my picks. But I'm sure I've also had a steak, and I do not remember what the name of this place was called in Japan. That was like this big. <laughs> I'm sure that was pricey in Japan. Yeah, it was so big, but it was so good. And I remember that the the chef came out for, and like talked to all of us. I was there with a bunch of stardom people, and that was really great. But I don't remember, and it's not um, the one steakhouse that everyone goes to in Japan. But it's, I can't remember the name of it right now. Not the Rivera State. No, not there. Rivera. I was somewhere else. Uh, but it was really good. <laughs> and <laughs> if you happen to be in Amarillo, Texas, I would recommend the Lone Star. Right? Is that the right name? Lone Star. And a good chance, three nights a week, you'll probably catch Terry Funk sitting there. So Lone Star and Amarillo give you a hook you up with a 32-ounce piece oh my of gosh. meat. And really, you don't need anything else. It's, nope. It's, it's, it's that's up. it. <laughs> we might have had the Blackberry Cobbler, too, but... All right, we are on Shane Hall. Shane Hall to Shane. There we go, Shane. Shane asked, who is your biggest fashion inspiration? Oh, just one? Uh, for Taya or for Kira? <laughs> I really love Gwen Stefani's style. I think that she's like stunning all the time, no matter what she's wearing. I also think J Lo has impeccable style. When I try to think of inspirations for Taya, she's definitely more of a Lady Gaga. Okay. Yeah. Caleb Carter, you're up. Uh, he wants you to write 2019 Knockouts Champion. Do you want it said to him or just? He, he didn't ask for a two, he just wanted you to write. 2019 okay. Knockouts Champion. With the signature. Yeah. 
Caleb wants to know why did you shoot Johnny? <laughs> so many reasons. <laughs> so many reasons. Have you watched Impact over the last years? He's first of all, he's super annoying. Super annoying. My coffee always is late and it's cold. And he wanted to marry my best friend. Mm. Come on. Rosemary Sir. and Bravo, not gonna happen. Not under my watch. Die. Yeah, oh. and he he like became like a horrible human during the whole he was like a groomzilla. <laughs> if you will. So yeah, he deserved it. <laughs> All right, Sean Knowles, Marlboro, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. You'd like it to be two Sean, we're a loco. All right. Sean. There you go, Sean. Sean said he was a big fan of your Wrestle K 2018 Street Fight, which main evented a show in front of close to 3,000 fans. Yes. And I believe that was the year that, was that the Sandman year? Remember that story where the Sandman? No, nope, that was last year. That was 2019. That was 2019. All right. Uh, 2018 was So you, versus... you main evented back-to-back -back Wrestle K's then, right? That's, yes. Because it was 2018. Because it was Penelope Ford and me right. at 2018. And then the year before that, it was me and versus Ivelisse, I believe. Was it? Uh -huh. Yes. If I'm remembering my own story properly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. All right. We have Summer Robbins in La Puente, California. Let's do the right La Huera Loca. All right. Summer wants to know, what is your favorite Britney Spears song? Mm. I'm going to go with Toxic. That's, that's in my top, for sure. All right, Tommy, start singing. Toxic, let's go. It's the one where it's like... <laughs> and she's she's dressed like a like a flight attendant, and she has the, the very iconic bodysuit that's fully bedazzled. Mm. Yeah. Tommy's our, our resident singer in the office, knows, knows a little bit of everything. Never know what he'll be listening to. <laughs> John Napierella, Depew, New York, to John. Another question about your fashion. He wants to know the hardest part of running a fashion house. A fashion house, well, is thank that, is that, you. Is that what you call it now, fashion house? Uh, I hope that people will think of it as a fashion house, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very flattered. I think the hardest thing is um, fashion is continually changing and trends change like to the minute. So trying to just be ahead of what is on trend and what is cool and making stuff that people really like because you can think something's cool to yourself, but if other people don't like it, you know, I want people to be happy and comfortable and, and love my clothes. So I just wanted, the hardest thing is to make sure that like, you know, you're making everybody happy. Right. Yeah. Estefani de la Cruz would like a personalization to Estefani. Estefani. All right, Estefani. There you go. All right, are we at seventy-five dollars to Adrian Calderon, guys? We the other ones went for like one thirty, right? Thirty-five. One thirty-five. These are the same thing, just black instead of white. Oop, She's still oop. gonna sign them, just like the white ones. Yep. So we are currently. At Rusty Adrian. says bid on the earmuffs. Where, where did Michael, the the Michael that lost, where did you go? Michael Perk is asking. He's asking where it's at. So I think he'll come in. You think Michael's just kind of lingering around this time? <laughs> All right, Chad Schrader. Chad. Chad. Oh well, he wants to. I, I'm sure you're gonna answer this one too. Uh, he wants you to. He wants you to tell everybody right now. Will you be in this Sunday's Royal Rumble? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if she said yes, and if she was in yes, then she'd be pulled quickly. So yeah, no, you're not getting that answer. No, nope. <laughs> but he did ask you to put WWE Future Champ for an inscription. <laughs> I, I can I'll, tell you because it was said on Monday Night Raw that John will be John in the Royal, in Royal Rumble. Rumble. It was right. announced. So I so. will be cheering him on from home with the puppies. <laughs> um. What did he say? Sorry. Do, oh, okay. You just want to write future champ? That's that's your prerogative. I'm just yep. showing you what. And we 
even going to write something else under here. Okay. You're getting a little bonus, Chad. All right, future champ, forever champ. <laughs> there we go. That's that's a fair compromise. All right, there thank you, you Chad. Go. Thank you. Sorry you didn't get your answer. But be cheering on Johnny Drip Drip. Let the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Christine Woods from a Papa John's location near you. Woo! Christine's picked up two. Uh, put For this one, put two Christine Whirl Loca. Okay. Apparently, Christine is a fan of your clothing. Not only does, does Christine so think comfy and sexy. Yeah. Keep it up. I mean, awesome. Thank you. you. To, she must have some if she. Knows yes, I love hearing that. I love having uh, hearing everybody's reviews and their opinions about it all. All right, That's and this one one's for you. Thank you, Christine. To Ray, R A Y, mm -hmm. to Ray, and then three hundred and seventy-seven days S K O Chan. See Michael Parker has bid ninety dollars for these black earmuffs. All right. There you go. Christina has asked any interesting memories of training with Lance Storm. Uh yes. It was he's like so technical about everything and he's very involved in the training like he doesn't have someone who's like an assistant that is showing you stuff he is running the spots he is in there with you learning just all the basics and you know he just has so much knowledge like he treat he trains people in like three month blocks mm -hmm. like five days a week um, for three hours a day and I feel like I did two six month blocks with him and I felt like I was like just Taking it to like the tip of the iceberg of what this man has to tell you about professional wrestling. So, yeah. Elizabeth Diaz. This will be two Liz and Jeff. Should we do blue or black, maybe? Uh, if you do black or blue, it'll have to be here. Okay. And if you do gold, it'll have to be here. Or here. I'll do so. it down there. Okay. All right. Two Liz and Jeff. Mm -hmm. This question literally is best historical Valkyrie. That, that's the question. Am I the best historical Valkyrie? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elizabeth Diaz in Holiday, Florida. Yes. We'll sign it live for you. Thank you. All right, Kane Pierce, all the way from London. I hope you're still awake and you're watching. I'd like it to be two Kane. That's K A N E. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm old. I don't even understand this question. I know what he's talking about. It's fine. <laughs> I still have to set you up for it. <laughs> I'll pretend like I know. Okay. He wants to know, what are the best pair of Yeezys? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Yeezys are sneakers from Kanye West's clothing oh, line. You have, a, you have a pair? I actually do not have a pair of Yeezys. Okay. I bought John a pair of Yeezys for Christmas last year. Um, I'm not super familiar with Yeezys because... They're very expensive, <laughs> and uh, I also have a really hard time finding women's sizes. So, okay. yeah. You know the last pair of doing. shoes I bought, I paid eleven dollars for. Oh my God. Michael. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you the other part about it. And this is serious. I'm serious. One hundred percent. This is the truth. They were eleven dollars because the left one was eleven and a half, and the right one was twelve. Is a mismatch pair. Is that a great deal? We're going shopping. I got a great deal. They were Nikes. We, we're gonna Sorry, we we're, have her ad up right now for <laughs> everyone visit tyvalkyrie.com hey, don't, like don't be hey. like Michael <laughs> we don't have sneakers uh, yet you, you, do, you do sell those comfortable sweats though right yes see I gotta get some because I, I like to be comfortable so. yes I mean 2020 is the year of, was the year of sweatpants so I've been, I've been going doing into 2021 20 I've been doing sweatpants oh, for 20 years match. Ooh, oh yeah I could God. we'll take pictures together <laughs> do you make double extra large in these up to triple XL. Yes. All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right, Chris Plot, also in the UK. Yes. Would like for you to write. Uh, Reina Queen, de Reinas. Queen of Queens, please. Right. Is Can you right? say that for me? Re Reina de Reinas. Close enough. <laughs> Reina de Reinas. I can't roll my R's. Even even when I took Spanish class in high school, I couldn't couldn't roll the R's. 
All right, here we. Did you have any uh, Spanish background before you moved to Mexico? Did you I, take it in school? Did you? I took it. So I was in French immersion because I'm my friend. Like in Canada, you can be in French immersion. So I spoke French my whole life growing up. So when I was in junior high, I took like one, like half a semester term or whatever it was called of Spanish, but they were teaching me Spanish in French. If that makes oh, any sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really didn't didn't stick. So it really took me moving to Mexico and not being able to speak a word to understand <laughs> or to learn. Because you know, <laughs> I, I was forced. In order to survive, I had to learn Spanish. What credit to, to uproot yourself and go into a, a language you don't speak just to pursue your dream. That yeah, sometimes, crazy. I'm not saying it was the smartest decision when I look back on it now and would I let my future daughter do that? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the best decision for me and it was the best decision for me at the time and I was lucky to have met the right people like Conan, Hijo del Perro Aguayo and all those people that were you know, that really helped me grow in AAA and beyond that, so. And you didn't have to wait long. I mean, you were in Perros de Mal, like, Like, day three instantly. that yeah. I was there that Carol met me, and because his family wears fur boots has, through their generations. So when he saw that I had fur boots, he was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Did you do that because you were here with us? And I was like, no. Right. Who are you again? You're <laughs> what's like happening? A, you're just like <laughs> one of those famous families in Mexico. Yeah, like, I was like, what's happening? Um, and, like, I don't even know, because he didn't speak any English, and his his cousin spoke English and now when I speak to his cousin because we still I'm still in contact with his family all the time uh, he speaks English to me and I'm like please stop speaking English to me because <laughs> it's so bad but we somehow communicated and he invited me to be the first female ever and only to be in Paris Del and there we are nice. Chris has also asked your thoughts on Connor getting knocked out this weekend I thought it was sad. I felt sad for him. But I saw an article that was written about like how Connor is really known for his footwork and stuff. I don't know a lot of technical stuff about MMA. I just know what I like. Mm -hmm. But it's been noted that he's a very he has a, he works a lot on his footwork and how his opponent took out his leg with those calf kicks. And I think that that had a big part in what actually took him down. And I saw some post fight stuff too. And he was limping. Yeah, it looked pretty bad. But. I think Connor. I mean, will we see him in professional wrestling? I don't know. I'm sure whatever he does, he's still yeah. Make a lot and I of money think that they're. I think they're still going to have a uh, another fight between those two in the future for sure. He's Connor McGregor. Come on. Yes. He makes a lot of money. He's entertaining. He's flashy. Why not? All right. We are in a bidding war between Adrian Calderon and Mike Parker. Mike Parker is currently the high bidder at 125. Woo! But Adrian is not yet out. So. Come on, guys. Where we're at. We have, we, and we have, yes, we are cut off. All the personalization options have been taken down. So, you guys, if you didn't get a chance to order something tonight, uh, go to highspotsauctions.com tomorrow. You'll be able to get some of these photos that were obviously, you're not going to have the opportunity to get them personalized. That's why you, you do it before we go, out, go on the air. But uh, we will have a few afterwards. So, we, if, Everybody that's asking, like, did you get to mine? Did you get to mine? We've been doing a lot, but we still have a lot to go, so just be patient. We'll work through it. Mm -hmm. Robert McChesney, also Robert. in the UK. And this one, he actually, I guess he's making it to uh, his friend Laura. Okay. And that's Robert McChesney. That's yep, it. just to Laura. To Laura. Yep. Right. He just said good luck for the future. Thank you. Alright, there's one for you. And he must have many friends because this one's made out to Stephen with a PH. I wanted to let you know that Robert wanted to let you know he thoroughly enjoyed your run and impact. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed working there with all the, the roster there and everyone behind the scenes as well. And you got to work there for multiple years. You've kind of seen a good turnover uh -huh. since you've been there. And what would, would you say leaving now? How would you rate the, the cast, the backstage cast? I mean, that was one of the most fun times of my career because all the women, the camaraderie that we have, all the guys, like everyone gets along and everyone's having fun and everyone's really there to like make it work and make a product that's authentic to us and those players that are in that roster you know what I mean so um, everyone that's backstage too like the writers are, are so they're so trusting in us to like they don't tell me well you tie say this it's like this is the message that we need you to do but like 
say it however Ty would say it. Like they really trusted us, and it, it creates gives us all the opportunity to grow so much more creatively. I think, right. and they trust us to make the right decisions for for who we are because nobody knows Ty more than I do, and uh, I really. I'm thankful that I worked for a company like that and during especially during that time when I was coming off this really long stint in Mexico and heavily influenced with Lucha Libre to kind of get more accustomed to the American style and you know how that works. So, yeah. You know and, and I'd love to hear your opinion if you disagree with this please let me know. I, I feel like they're really hitting their stride right now because they fully understand that I think they understand now they're a TV product. Mm -hmm. They're not a touring company. Mm -hmm. You know they're not making the attempts to do that and I think when you focus on just being a TV product, you can kind of do some more creative things. That yeah, and on the seen. pandemic obviously like brought on so many different problems and diff like obstacles for when you're for a TV product. And I think that Impact did a really good job with doing things that were completely out of the ordinary, like more, um, you know, cinematography. Like, what is that word? Cinematography. Yeah, more cinem cinematography type style matches, as well as things like Wrestle House, which people were just like, "What is happening here?" But guess what? It was fun. Mm -hmm. And it took you out of just watching, uh, you know, a lot of the wrestling that we've been seeing now with no fans. It's, it's, you need to have diversity and different stuff and different characters and different people. And I think that Impact has that. True. Yeah. All right. Art Ellis, Brandon, Florida. He's cool. gotten two. Just your signature on these. Perfect. Can we get a, if Mike Parker, oh, never mind. Just came back with yep. another bid. Woo! There's one. And... Art Ellis also with this one. There it is. Thank you. All right, Jerry Romero. Just your signature. Mm -hmm. Jerry's from Fontana, California. What's up, Jerry? Related to Rocky. Or to Ricky, we just we just picked up some Ricky Romero stuff <laughs> while we were in Amarillo. No kidding, we got some Ricky Romero outfits. There we go. <laughs> All right, Brandon Vincent picked up his nuclear heat photo. Awesome. In Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Just a signature. Just a signature. Let's see. All right, Adrian, let us know if you are out or if Mike Parker is going to win this at 140. Robert Castillo, he's gotten three photos here. Just your signature on all three. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robert. There he is, Adrian at 145. So Mike Parker, balls in your court. Are you out or are you going to top Adrian's bid? And I have a solution that I, I just keep noticing. Hmm. It looks Who similar. Wants these right off my head? What? I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to make the suggestion, but if you want to make two people happy, I got a 145 and a 150 bid. And we'll we'll let mean, them work it out. But. Yeah. If you guys both want a pair, I will take the ones straight off my head and All sign right. them to you. So we'll let, how about this? We'll let them go back and forth, but whoever bids $5 more gets to pick the pair you're wearing now or, or the, the pair that you've worn on somewhere impact. on impact. Yeah. That's fair, right? Yep. All right. So are we cutting it off at 155 then? Well, no. We're gonna. If someone else wants to jump in here, at least now we know there's two. So if someone okay. else wants to jump in, but we'll wait. Because also, then the highest bidder also gets to pick which one. Yep. So you may want to jump in front of, of the other one. So Adrian, are you in? Are you out? All right, Big Bob. Big Bob sat on from Sedalia, Missouri. All right. Like it to just say where where a loco. Mike Parker, he's jumping ahead of Adrian. 150 to Mike Parker. All right, and Boom. Bob is the first to ask any funny stories from Lucha Underground. Maybe not even be funny, but he's the first to ask about Lucha Underground and what an interesting time that was. Um, yeah, actually, it's a funny John and my story. Uh, the first 
time that we had to shoot a backstage vignette. I don't know if you remember a scene I where... I tell you no, because it would have happened more than five minutes ago. But go ahead. <laughs> There's a scene in season two where I'm wearing a red baseball cap backwards and John is supposed to be in his dojo and he's doing like the training on the wooden uh, dummy. And that was our first day ever working together like like in a vignette sec like scenario and I was always just like I asked him that day like so because we'd be like flirting and stuff and I asked him like so like what are we are we friends are we homies are we like is there like what's our story because I was trying to just even understand like what the dynamic of Taya and Johnny Mundo was and he was just like yeah we're homies and I was like okay and it was like the most awkward day the rest of the time and then so you were using your characters to flirt with the real life well now, it's very husband. complicated <laughs> we have time but have it was time. very funny and we and there's actually there's a that was also the day that we shot this thing where i was like fighting ninjas in the dark in a dress with heels on and he was in a suit and one of the writers i think krista joseph has a photo in his phone of us because doing like that really weird prom pose you know the okay. classic prom yep. pose and he's like About you guys yeah, yeah like yep. he's behind me like this and that's our like first picture ever together is hmm. this like random really awkward i'm probably standing like this like <laughs> prom pose photo but anyways yeah so would you credit lucha underground for introducing you to your husband would you can you give them credit um i actually had met him beforehand because he had come and done shows in mexico mm -hmm. But when I went to Lucha Underground the first day, I was coming in to being told that I was Cobra Moon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had you were originally the Cobra Moon. I was Cobra Moon, and then when I got there, like literally within five minutes, they were like, "Oh no no no, you're not Cobra Moon anymore. You're just going to be Taya." And I was like, "Oh okay," and you're going to be with Johnny Mundo and uh, Jack Evans and PG Black, and I was like, "Okay," like it was just kind of it just happened. Mm -hmm. But I had, like, we'd had, like, spoken to each other and stuff before, but it was just always just like, hey, what's up, like, kind of stuff. So, All right. But the yeah. flirting first happened at Lucha Yeah, because he followed me around Lucha Underground. Yeah. Nonstop. That's a cool little set they had there, too. Yeah, like, the, original, the, the original the original one was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Phoenix and Pentagon would give him crap for, like, stalking me and stuff. It was funny. <laughs> and Daga, too. It was bad. <laughs> right. He stalked you. We got yes. It. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. He did! Right. Stand around my makeup chair all day. Spinning in circles. <laughs> Shane Dubick in Indianapolis, Indiana. But you, Shane, wear a logo? Sure. All right. I think these bids have leveled out. Adrian Calderon is at 160. Mike Parker's at 150. I'm going to give 10 more seconds and then the lag for Mike Parker to jockey for position. But. Adrian is ten dollars more than Mike, so Adrian at this time would get to pick which, which of the ones? two, and then Mike at one fifty you would choose the other, which you know I think is fair. So I'll give that five more seconds, and then we'll do the lag. What I do is I'll do this thing where I'll say five, four, three, two, one, and I'll clear the hand, and we'll wait. Boom. So that way we can see the lag is obviously yes. A there's always delayed. a few. Once we see the, the hand go big to the right, we know it's there it cleared. goes. All right, so there it is. So we have winner Adrian Calderon at 160, Mike Parker at 150. We're going to send you an invoice, each of you an invoice, and Adrian, you pick since you were the higher bidder. Do you want the ones on the ears? Do you want the ones that were on the set? So let us know, and I will sign those for you. Oh, Presley. Michael wants to know if the camera set is a little different than normal. I feel like we normally. Feel like we normally see them sign better. Well, I think these would be identical in, in all no, no. fairness, right? He's, he's talking about the camera positioning, and yes, it is a little different. Oh, because all of our stuff from Florida or from Texas is still boxed up. Oh yeah, it, okay, I understand what you're saying. And it's a little. We have a different producer today. We gave we gave Big Steak the day off since yeah, he was steak. <laughs> since he uh, did drive the the van back 20 hours. Oh my! So we. we we brought in uh, the other half of Elbow Productions, so he's setting up a little bit to the side instead of over the top, but hopefully everybody can still see it the same. And we do have our uh, backup cameras in place. We haven't un unloaded everything, so. Can I make a request? Absolutely. Does someone want to take Presley out to, to the bathroom? Oh, I know who wants to do this. <laughs> She's been begging. Hey, Presley. Here. Chelsea's been begging to hold you. <laughs>
His leash is caught around his tail. Oh my God. Hi, buddy. Hello. I feel like he's just oh, you're so little. Okay, let's okay. go inside. Thank you. <laughs> let's see if, he, if he'll go to the bathroom without mom. Yeah. Without he mom. needs grass. That's it. <laughs> All right, Shane there. So did we get... Did he say which one he wants? I have no idea. So Adrian wants to know the pair. He's going to get the pair she's wearing. So we're going to... We're going to let her wear this until we sign it at the very last piece. It'll be the last thing I do is I'll, right. I'll sign these. All right. So these will go to, so I'll make the name, Mike Parker. Thank so you, you hold, Adrian you and Mike. You can aside for Mike Parker. As soon as he has those invoiced, we'll open up the final auction, which is going to be the full Gear outfit. From hard, hard to kill. kill. Includes the one piece, the wrist gauntlets, another set of these earmuffs. And these earmuffs, as you already see, they go for about 150 already. And then the these are really cool. These uh, my fur boot covers plus knee pad covers <laughs> that are see, sewn together. So those you just kind of like slide up yeah. and go over any boots, and they look like they furry were, like, boots. The little yeah, amateur Very shoes cool. under there. All right, Eric Garcia, Melbourne, Florida. Just want your signature on this one. Sure. Thank you, Eric. There you go. All right, Nate Poole, Manchester, New Hampshire. Would like to Nate wear a loca? Mm -hmm. All right, Nate asked a question that someone previously asked, but a little spin on it. He said, past or present dream opponent. You've discovered the, the past. Tell me somebody that you've looked at and you that you'd like to wrestle at some point. Um, that you have not had an opportunity to share with Ringwood. Well, I have never wrestled Chris Statlander, which I think would be. She's right here. We'll get her. We'll get her on the phone. Let's <laughs> call her up. But we, we can have her here in half an hour. Yeah, I've never wrestled. I've never wrestled her. Isn't that weird? There's some people like that too that I've never wrestled before. I've never wrestled like. Maybe it's because she's like an East Coast girl. You're West Coast. Yeah, I don't know. And like even someone like Britt Baker, I've only ever been in a tag match with her. Like for like, I think we were against each other for like two seconds like there was right. never sort of like any sort of actual you know interaction there so I would love to face both of them I'd love to face obviously some people like Scar uh, Charlotte and Sasha Banks and I have wrestled EO before one time in stardom and I would like to wrestle her again right. so those are kind of my my current top okay. chicks if I had oh, to pick and two of them that you mentioned are in WWE and two of them were mentioned in AW yeah, still no hints, guys. <laughs> All right, this one's for Shy Evron. Shy want like to make it out to La Wera Loca. All right. Shy would like to know what is your biggest fear? Are you afraid of anything? Uh, I'm always absolutely terrified of failing. I feel like most people are. So I feel like that's not really. I mean, so, I'm always so an overachiever. Insect, insects, snakes, none of that stuff. It's fear, fair. Fear, like, yeah. I always want to be the best. No, but I've always just kind of been an overachiever my whole life. Um, so I'm always just always trying to strive for the next big thing. I'm never really satisfied. And that's usually a problem. <laughs> and it's but, usually what makes you successful. Exactly. So yeah, I just, I just always, I have to make sure that I'm always, you know, doing my best. Lynn Scone. Lynn Scone in Marlton, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Once it's made out to Jerry and Lynn. All right. Success? Come. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. You are welcome. <laughs> and... He's just a little nugget, isn't he? He's just He's so, so little. Cute. <laughs> Do you eat all... Oh, there's still a couple of food pieces there. Eating snacks? Yeah. Thank one? you, Jerry and Lynn. Mm -hmm. There you go. They asked best Disney that? princess. Am I, is that a question? Best, best Disney there's princess. There's more than one Disney princess. Oh my! Oh. I don't have kids. I don't watch Disney. Michael. Go ahead. Scold uh, me. As for, I mean, my whole life growing up, I was a super Ariel fan. I always wanted to Ariel. Under the sea. Uh, yeah, under the sea. I am also a huge Elsa fan. I've heard of Elsa. Yes, Elsa. <laughs> and as for. Yeah, I think that those are, as for villains, I mean, I would say, like, Cruella DeVille, the classic Cruella DeVille, is iconic and evil. 
Now give me that dog. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Robin Party in Goose Bay. All right. We'd like two Robin best wishes. All right, Michael, you're clear to start the gear. All right, Robin. we'll finish this one up and we'll get to the main event of the auction night. You guys have been great so far, so I really appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you. So let's keep it going. Robin wants uh. to know your best. Do we have to start over? Oh. Presley put his Presley. ball right in it. We'll get, hey, Robin, I'm going to give you this one, but we're going to, we're going to have a, we're I mean, going to get, gonna draw a little we're going to get two, Robin. I'm going to get, I'm going to give Robin a clean one, too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I'm sure Robin's not going to mind getting two. Two right there. Two promos with Paul. Presley on there. Robin, want to know your favorite thing to cook or bake? Are you a, are you a baker? Are you, a, I, you like to cook? I love to cook. I'm not a baker. And my I'm, I come from a Swiss baking family on my dad's side. I'm sure my dad would be horrified if I know that I don't like baking. But I'm not a, a sweets person. I would much rather, I love, I love actually cooking carne asada on the barbecue and making homemade guacamole. That's like my favorite. You're not a dessert eater? No. No. Oh, no. It's, it's I'm a, a spicy, give me the fieriest chicken wings mm. and the side of ranch. <laughs> William Campbell, also from the UK. I want you to put two Will of Vero, Vero Loca, mm -hmm. KO. All right. Are you writing Adrian's details down so we got that? Yeah, okay. All right, Adrian, we see your request. There we go. William, thank you. William has asked, who are your all-time favorite managers? I don't know. Well, while you think about that, let me go ahead and put this. <laughs> On the auction block, we have the hard-to-kill gear. This is the last ever gear that you wore in Impact Wrestling. Yeah. This is a one-piece right here. We have, we have top and bottom sewn Custom together. Custom with the snowflakes. Very Elsa. Oh, that is Elsa. Uh, yeah, and if this is a fun fact about this gear that I was surprised that not a lot of other people Something caught on, there. was that this is the exact same fabric and colors that I used on my debut on Impact. So you brought it all big circle back big, together. Back, big circle. So, I mean, you can see how this goes together. It's the, yep. the bottom right the one here. I'm very thoughtful about my gear. <laughs> Sometimes it's to a fault. So yeah, there it is. All Swarovski crystals, the earmuffs, the boots, the wrist cuffs, all of it can be yours. And I will sign it if you would like it signed. However, big snowflake um, on the back. Huge snowflake on the back. Yep. There you go. Yeah. And like I said, and we've already line. established what these go for. These, yeah. This we we could. Uh, so first pair also we could say where it was worn. So you know this is on the hard to kill. So. I think the winner will probably want to say this ring worn, hard to kill. Yep. The date. Just let me know and I will do that for you. Appreciate you bringing this for us too. This is of course. Uh, we love it when you bring Special pieces that stuff. we could uh, put a time and a date stamp to. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that I'm sure this is going to go to a very big fan. Sweet. I'm excited. All right, Marco Suarez, not Suarez, Suarez, Suarez. I'm sorry. Wow. Suarez. Oh, we have an office bid here. Someone in the office. I'm going to leave this right here. We'll we'll look at it later. All right, Marco Suarez to Marco. All right. He, he used this he to, to to flat out say, "Can you tell a joke?" That's a really. I, they, they put you on the spot, <laughs> don't they? See. And I'm going to go back to that manager question. Okay. Because. I will say that one of my, and this is because I've gotten to watch this person live perform, one of my favorite managers to watch was watching Holly Meowie on Lucha Underground manage Famous B. Okay. Because I am also a very good friend of Holly's, she is beautiful Brenda <laughs> in real life. It was so fun to watch, she put so much, so much thought and she is a very a lot of the stuff that she said in all her vignettes and during the matches and stuff was all on the spot it was uh you know not scripted and, mm -hmm. and she's just a very creative and fun person to watch so okay good answer 
still on the clock for a joke at some point, but we'll, oh, we'll yes, move on. Joke. <laughs> Michael Chavez in Kokomo, Indiana. To Michael, wear a loco. Presley, I am not a scratching punch. What, what do you want? He wants pets. I'll give you, you just want me to pet? I'll do whatever you want. Is he doing gentle paw when he does oh, this? Oh, yeah, very yes. gentle. <laughs> All right, and not sure why you're the expert, but Michael wants to know the best cure for a hangover. What makes you think I know what that feels like? Okay. Um, <laughs> if you watched any of the Real Housewives of Slamtown, you would know uh, that the best cure for a hangover is another mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. All right, we have Chris Devon. Chris has gotten three photos here, so let's, well, let me let me stretch you at the at the top. Just your signature on that one. Mm-hmm. All right. And the next one is to Chris Devo. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I'm question. glad you are. I know. I'm glad. <laughs> Christabel. That that is what makes the show fun is when people send in oddball questions. Doesn't always have to be about wrestling, folks. I'm a multi layered person. All right. <laughs> and this one, just your signature. Alright. Chris said uh, you versus Tessa in the street fight was epic. Thank you very much. And Chris said who is the best drag race winner, and why is it Jada Essence Hall? <laughs> All right. I will agree with you that Jada is and was, like, an amazing winner. And I also say, think that this last, one of these last seasons, when it was Shea Coulee, John was, I, me and John watch a lot of, we love drag race. And they just started a new season. So we were on, uh, definitely on Shea, Shea, Team Shea okay. during that one. And this season, even though this question has nothing to do about it, but this, I think this season is one of the best seasons they've had in a long time. And I am, I don't even have a favorite yet because I feel like everyone is great. Are you a big reality TV watcher? Yes. <laughs> well, you, did you watch Survivor before your husband was on Survivor? I actually never really got into Survivor. Yeah. Um, but I obviously watched Survivor when John was on it. I have a very, I love the Real Housewives of uh, all the places. And to a fault, John's always like giving me shit because I watch too much reality TV, but it's fun. And, Do you watch yeah. The Bachelor? Yes. Don't get me started on last night's. Well, episode. listen, normally I'd say I don't know what you're talking about, but I am now watching The Bachelor this season. Okay, what was I've your thoughts never, on I've it? I've never last watched night? it before, but I have to make Michael. a disclosure. I have to make a disclosure. Okay. The only reason I watched The Bachelor this season mm -hmm. is because Matt was a football player at my university, Wake oh my Forest God. University. That's right. Oh. Wake Forest. Go Deeks. So, well, can you tell him reason. to not pick Victoria? <laughs> I have a feeling that the producers are saying, listen, you can give roses to whoever you want, but you have to give one to Victoria. I know, because so she's a heel. Right. She's a heel. There's some heels coming out. I don't like it. Oh, you like it. Ah, uh, I love it. TV. It's, it's yeah. TV. I'm just going to leave it at that. I could say it many, many things, but yeah. It's a, it's a good season so far. Go I don't on. know how I feel about them adding extra girls, though. That seems very stressful for me. I, I think it was maybe because they only had like one heel in the bunch and they, they had to spice it up. Mm, add some more. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Here is all his stuff. Daniel Brewer, you're next. This will be to Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel has asked, how important was Pero Aguayo Jr. to your career? Uh, very important. He was like intricate, he was like a very important chapter in my career as a whole because he was really that first person who took a chance on, on this blonde girl from Canada who didn't really know anything about the Lucha Libre style and who was just there to learn and and was hungry for an opportunity and that's what he did for me and I'm forever grateful for him and you know happy to have him as my guardian angel now and I hope that he's proud of everything I'm continuing to do in his name so sure yeah. he is all right Ruben Olivares Corpus Christi Texas if you'd like it to be to Ruben uh, where are local mm -hmm. 
Corpus Christi, where Selena is from. All right, how are we looking on these bids? Right now we have a, a bid right now from Dylan Anthony at 300. 300, ooh, a little light, a little light, but uh, I'm sure there's uh, Come on guys, get your bids in for my hard to kill gear. One of a kind. I, I would happen to think that the office bid was a little stronger than that, but I haven't looked at it yet. Yes, Brizzly, I know. <laughs> He's like, keep bidding. That's what that is, the gentle paw. <laughs> double down, guys, double down. All right, Charles Watson, just your signature on this one. All right. Firstly, you're being very good, buddy. Oh, it's because someone's giving him a massage. Pets? Uh, yeah. You getting pets? And he gets to stare right at mom. So yeah. This is like <laughs> very good. Keep, I, if I stop for a second, he's it's, like, keep going, keep going, yeah, keep going. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Matthew Wilson. Just your signature on this one. All right. All right, Rodney Lewis Freeman's asking where the gear bid's at. Rodney, it's only at 300. This is a steal. He's... Tell, tell Rodney to read the feed. Yeah. <laughs> read the feed, Rodney. This is worn on hard to kill, the last impact pay per view. She's brought the whole damn thing, guys the earmuffs, the one piece, the wrist gauntlets, and the boot covers. Boot covers are very cool. I may actually steal the pattern of that. <laughs> Show the team in the back that, you know, we make gear here. So uh, maybe maybe you need to show them that. You know? <laughs> we like to steal some of these really really good ideas. We... <laughs> All right, uh, Jonathan Mazenberg from Chicago, Illinois. You'd like nice. to say to Jonathan, it's with J O N. Mm -hmm. All right. Before I ask the question, what what is, how do I say that word? Penche. 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 All right, so Jonathan has, he, he's looked her up. You were a classically trained ballerina way before you got into wrestling. Mm -hmm. Can you still do a proper penche? I can, because we have a actual ballet bar and ballet mirrors in our house. So I <laughs> Really? Do, yeah. Wait, so hold on, we'll get this right. <laughs> so in this castle, we have, we, have, we have one room that's been turned into a closet, right, with a chandelier and drinks yeah. and, and 100 pairs of shoes. Yeah. And you also have a dance studio, I guess. Well, it's a gym, and the gym? in the gym area, uh -huh. I there's just like a, a blank wall, and I I wanted to put a ballet bar in there. It's not very long, you know, the length of this table, and then we have a whole wall of mirrors, okay. so it looks like a dance studio, but also like has weights and cardio equipment and normal gym stuff. But I do do a lot of bar exercises because I think that it's good for balance. I think it's really good for your hips and. Uh, controlling your kicks in professional wrestling, and that's something that John does as well. So, and is that on the same floor as the bowling alley, or is it a different floor? No, I took out the bowling alley. I need yeah. more room for my coats. Okay, the coats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashley Lindridge in Chatham, UK. Let's see, we have two here, so that one's up top. This one should write "All my love, La Vera Loca." La Vera Loca. Ashley, not ignoring your question, but someone beat you to it, so I'm going to skip over it. And then this one. This one. Would like you to write Knockouts Champ 377 Days. There we go. All right, we're trying, Presley. We're getting through this. Yeah. All right, next one is Brendan Kane in Collingswood, New Jersey. Just your signature on this one. Mm -hmm. All right, where are our bids at, Josh? We're at 425 right now to, uh, let's see if I know sign, Keaton Schaefer. All right. All right, guys, Keaton, let's keep it going. Dylan Anthony just came back with a 450 bid. There you go, Dylan. Still a steal at 450. Absolute steal. All right, Ryan Watson in the UK. Would like you. Two Ryan in wants silver. Wants us to write it in silver. All right. Oh, I was going to write two Ryan in silver on it. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Now, Ryan, we, you've heard what we've said about silver, but. 
All right, we're some gonna people, give it a try. Some people handle silver better than others, so to Ryan. I don't know. No go. No go, right? It's very, it's very dry. This is why we don't do pinning choices, folks. See, guys, <laughs> leave it up to the experts. <laughs> Ryan Watson, are you watching your bad decision? I can't. I can't look at that, guys. I can't. I can't. Let's, let's do it over. Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go back to a good colors and blue. Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> this, you, you have just once again made a point that you should let us select the colors on these photos. We do test them. We make Chelsea imitate uh, your signature beforehand every time so we know how to look before <laughs> well, we get on the camera. We, we make Chelsea sign her signature. Yeah, folks, Chelsea. Not, 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 you not mean it's like she signed Tyus. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> have you been farting, but No, that, we leave Damn, that Michael. up to the other vendors up in the Northeast. Damn, you know. Michael. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Step, step, step. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Bad. Good. Good. You didn't rip that other one up like you normally. Oh yeah, I, I should rip it up. All right. I'll, I'll rip it up later in case you says no. I really like the silver. All right. Michael Brewer, who I think won one of the earmuffs, right? I so like this is yeah. to Michael. A E. Ryan said blue is perfect, so it's all good. Oh, good. Ooh, Craig. All right. All right. Michael would like you to compare winning your first place at your uh, at your uh, bodybuilding or uh, mm -hmm. competition to winning the Impact Women's Title. Compare it's two very different feelings, I think. I feel like. When I won the fitness competition, I'd been doing it for a, a few years at that time, and it was like that was like the, a huge goal that I accomplished. And I was up against uh, Sylvia Tremblay of Quebec, um, me in the tall division, her in the short division. And, uh, you know, you're so depleted on those days, you can't really think straight. Right. <laughs> Let's be completely honest. But I mean, winning the Impact cha Knockouts Championship for the first time was a huge moment it was my my first big uh championship in america and being from canada and having then been from mexico and done all these things and and that's you know that was always kind of one thing that escaped me so that was definitely a, a really really big deal for me yeah great all right we're gonna get to the final orders here uh, last stack that came in once we went live ricardo nunez he'd like mm -hmm. to rick any inscription you'd like. Wants to know if, if this, if either of your dogs have his own IG account. Do you have your own IG account, Presley? Listen, yes, of course. Uh, Presley used to have his own IG account, and then I got, he, he, he got locked out of it, and I've never been able to recover it, huh. which has been super annoying. So, you forgot but your password? He totally yeah. forgot his password, lost his phone like several times. Uh, but he, him and his brother Bowie have at the underscore P, P E E, underscore boys with a Z. Okay. Uh, and that's their Instagram. And then they each have their own Twitter as well. <laughs> <laughs> because quarantine. <laughs> a little extra time on your hands. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank and you, also, Ricardo. they're very cute. And I like Ricardo wants well. to know, other than yourself, who do you think in wrestling has the best sense of fashion? Hmm. I really have to put someone over on myself? No. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm number one. I do really think that um, Carmella has some cool outfits that she wears uh, all the time. I mean, Charlotte has amazing gear too. There's, And I feel like everyone picks stuff that's so specific to their character and that's what's important. And I don't think it matters, you know, who has more detailed or anything like that like think about someone like rosemary or sue young who are just have these iconic looks mm -hmm. and you, they come into your room and you know who they are and i think that is just as important as you know how many bedazzles or how much fur you have on a jacket because that's what's establishing you as a character in wrestling so i mean across the board i feel like if you're on tv you sh you've got your stuff down so right. yeah michael parker you're up i want you to write Longest reigning KO champ. Mm -hmm. It's 
question is best luchador of all time, but I'll make it even more difficult. You can't pick an Aguayo. <laughs> Rey Mysterio, hello. Uh, <laughs> If my wife is watching, she she is pushing us hard to get a third dog. Mm -hmm. But every dog that she picks out is like as big as the two that we have. So this is the right size for number this three. This little nugget right. boy. <laughs> so yeah, I was continuing out with my luchador. If I was going to say, because I'm going to put over someone else now, for that the current luchador that I think is the best is uh, Phoenix, my brother, because duh. And I also think that. Um, Vikingo from AAA is the one that everyone needs to watch once, out for. Once he gets a visa here to work regularly. He is yeah. incredible. And I also think someone like um, Dragon Lee is very, very, very mm -hmm. good. A lot of people have discovered Dragon Lee with his Ring of Honor run here. Yeah. So. All right, Derek Walters in Oklahoma. Just two Derek, D-E-R-E-K. He's asking if you had any good K-Dog stories. Talking about Conan. Conan? Uh... Well, yes, of course I do. <laughs> um, my favorite thing to do with Conan is to catch him with uh, Snapchat filters. Okay. And I have actually been told that I'm the only person that's been able to do it. <laughs> and he thinks it's also funny, and then I post them everywhere. Of him with cat ears. Yeah. You know, lipstick. It's great. <laughs> All right, Ella Jackson. Ella. You're up. Asked to write Ella in a positive message. Oh, you're going to make my two boys jealous tonight. Smelling you, yeah. There we go. All right, thanks, Ella. There you go. Jorge Rivera. Just your signature on this one? Mm -hmm. Jorge in Jorge. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Gracias, Jorge. And I'm seeing that we are, we are at 465, Dylan Anthony. Come on, guys. Keep the bids coming. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own a piece of my history. So let's go. Clint Smith, Bloomington, Illinois. It'll be to Clint, Vera Loca. Mm -hmm. Clint's asked, do you still keep up with any of your SWA classmates? SWA is the Lance. Lance as well. Actually, I talked to, I mean, not really people that I was like, in the school at the, like I trained with, but mostly people that I like did, like worked PWA and the, you know, local mm -hmm. indies around there. For example, like Carlo Cannon from Australia, like when John and I went on to, were in Australia last year in 2019, I mean, we always still talk to him, really good friends with him, we went to his school and trained and, and hung out, and uh, I mean, Tennille, is, I met her through uh, doing World of Hurt when I was a season one, um, and Chris Knight, and Brady Roberts, and all those people, yeah, I do keep up with them. Great. Yeah. All right, thank you, Clint. All right, two for Austin Pierce. First, we'll do this one. This will be two Austin knockouts champ. And the second one, he'd like two Austin Real Loca. Mm -hmm. He said, "How much did you enjoy Russell House?" It was very fun, and it, but it was a lot of work. We filmed all of that in the entire season, so it was like seven weeks of mm -hmm. Russell House in two days. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot, but it was very, very fun, and everyone was having fun. I think that that was what made it not seem like so right. much work. But it was, it was great. It was very fun, and it was very hot because we were outside for those matches, and it was middle of summer. Yeah, like August. Yep. All right, Carlos Vinyes, 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 Vinyes. Do we discover Vinas? Vinas. Carlos Vinas. All right. Yeah, Valley Stream, New York. All right. Dios perdona los perros. No. Mm -hmm. Want to try saying that? No. <laughs> Dios perdona los perros. No.
Thank you, Carlos. Ta-da! Gracias, Carlos. All right, we have Carlos Navarro, Fort Rain Wainwright, Arkansas. La Vera Loca. Carlos has asked your favorite type of music. I really enjoy a lot of very upbeat, fun pop music. Mm -hmm. I'm also a fan of rap music, reggaeton. I just kind of like anything that makes me feel happy and is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Dan Sousa, he'd like it to made out to Two Brick Wall. To what? Two Brick Wall. <laughs> that's, it. that's his nickname. Two oh, okay. Dan wants to know if you have any pre-match rituals. Um, I pace a lot, and I think about everything over and over again. And I also go through, you know, everything that's going to happen in my head meticulously. But I'm a, a notorious pacer, and I'm always, like, ready for my match, like, at Gorilla, like, way too early. <laughs> Tony Krampus picked up three. He's in Vancouver, Washington. The first one will be... To Tony from Weraloka. Okay. Actually, the same inscription for all three. Sweet. So it makes it nice and easy. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. There's one. I'm peeking here where the gear is creeping up. It's 480. <coughs> 490 with Craig. Craig at 490. Dylan. You know a deal. I know what you've spent on some of your gear, Dylan. This is still a steal. Come on, guys. Dylan, Dylan's got a really nice collection of ring worn gear, so. Get your bids in. There he is. Dylan is at 500 Now the auction begins. $500 is where I was going to start it at. I figured it would be an insult to do anything less than five, considering. We already know the earmuffs are like $150. I know, guys. Come on, get your bids in. One of a kind. Tony has asked a favorite memory of working with Rosemary. Who I will have, be a guest on VGT in two weeks. I have weeks. so many. Not VGT. Not VGT. For Sign a lot. That's right. She, I remember the first time that I met her at Impact. We'd have, Although we're both Canadian, we'd never met before. And we only just knew each other on social media, which I think happens a lot nowadays. She's like, I, I know you, but I have, don't really know you. Um, but we also had a, f a friend in common in Casey Spinelli, who is from um, Ontario. Uh, and uh, we just hit it off right off the bat. And I think that my favorite thing about her was just how creative she is. And she would, te like, things that, like, she just tests me with my creativity and, like, pushes me to just think completely outside the box, obviously. <laughs> um, and just, we had so much fun, even during quarantine, just talking FaceTime and coming up with stories and ideas and things like that because we, we play so well off each other. To Marcus Smith. This will be two Marcus. We're a loco. Mm -hmm. You want a drink of water? Presley, you want some water? Come here. You want water, buddy? Water? No. He's just a mouth breather. It's fine. <laughs> a mouth breather? I've heard, I've heard that <laughs> There we go. You want back up? Presley. Come here, buddy. Jesse Vaughn again. He wants this one in green paint pen. All right, Jesse. Your mistake. What did we learn today earlier with the silver they, pen? These people, they just don't listen. They don't. <laughs> guys, paint pens are good for action figures. Bad for paper, but he wants it to be too Jesse. Mm -hmm. And just my signature? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Jesse. Not bad. Would have looked better in Sharpie. There you go. We'll pull that one to the side so it's not piled on the others. Sebastian Del Rue from France, our first <gasps> from French France, customer tonight. Sebastian. So we can make it to Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Let's trade out that one. Now, you've been yeah. using this one right. extensively. It's just any other gold. All right. Craig Mele at five ten. 
510 for this hard to kill gear just worn on the last impact pay-per-view. There we go. Thank you, Sebastian. Merci beaucoup. Ken Peterson in Brick, New Jersey. To Kenny. Mm -hmm. Don Anthony upped it to 550. There you go. Thank there you, Dylan. There you go. All right, Ken wants to let you know he was at Madison Square Garden in Georgia match against Tessa. Thank you. Tony Aragon would like it to be two Tony Impact KO champ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tony. Go. Thank you, Tony. James Hebb, Gresham, Oregon. Two James. Two James. You know, we've, someone's already asked about Brittany. Now James wants to know the best Lady Gaga song. <sighs> and then we'll have Tommy sing it. I mean, I'm going to have to go with like her classic Born This Way, because I feel like that was like some of her most epic. Born it's This like Way. like OG Tommy, Lady so we get Gaga. some Born This Way. Although Chromatica as an album, which was the last album that came out, was also incredible because she went back to her pop roots and I just really, really enjoyed it. Okay. Now, we can't else. sing a whole album, y'all. We, <laughs> we just need, we just need a, a little, you know. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Sorry, Gaga. All right. Corey Tunstall. Two Corey KO champ. Fair question. Which number will you be coming out in for the Rumble? How about that? That's fair. It's their question. Stop. Not mine. Not mine. I love all the fan fiction that's been written about me lately. It's really fun. <laughs> I appreciate the support, though, so thank you. There you go. All right. Thank you, Corey. All right. Aaron Williams. To Aaron. Double A R O N. Aaron wants to know best Canadian actor. God, you guys are really testing tough. my. They're tough. They're tough. You guys are tough here at High Spots. Canadian actor. I'm just gonna go with someone that we all probably know and love, but uh, Ryan Reynolds because he's from Vancouver. All right, safe. He's fun. He's a, yeah. Jaron. And I really like the dynamic between him and his wife. So, anyways. Jaron Trombley, Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. Just your signature. All right. There you go. All right, Jason Helms, you're up. Clover, South Carolina. We would, uh, let's see, no, no personalization, pick yes, and then you can, okay, just your signature. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jason. We met you at Russell Cade. Awesome. Sad that we didn't get to do that this year, but hopefully next year. It's one of my favorite conventions. It's cool. One of our favorites, too. Yeah. Emily Cease, Prospect, Kentucky, like two Emily. Mm-hmm. He was bidding on your earmuffs earlier. Said, such an inspiration. Loves your local line. Thank you very much. All right. Adrian Calderon, who won one of your earmuffs. Actually, you got two ones. Just this one will be two, Adrian. Mm This one's to Adrian plus <laughs> La Wera Loca. Mm -hmm. He's asked the question, East Coast or West Coast? He's right in the middle there in Denver, Colorado. A little more West. but uh, I am a West Coast girl uh, forever. I'm born and raised in Victoria, Canada on the island, the West Coast off Vancouver, and now living in California. So. Ian Thorpe with three photos. All right, two, three. Just your signature on the top one. Mm -hmm. He ends in Boise, Idaho. Wrestled in Boise. 
No, I don't think so. Not that I can remember. Next one, Impact Knockouts Champ. Final one. I should also switch yep, this out. Let's switch it out. And this one, last one. Chewie in hugs and kisses. And has asked any fun memories of wrestling in Mexico. Did you, at any point when you got down to Mexico, think, what am I doing down here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like uh, every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Okay. How, how did your uh, schedule in Mexico compare to when you um, worked more traditional independence? Uh, well, like when you're full-time with AAA, you're, you can be working anywhere from two days a week to seven days a week. So there would be times when we would literally be on a bus going from town to town to town, you know, 12 hours, 16 hours, especially when we do like northern Mexico tours because we would go to Torreon and then we go to Monterrey and then we go to Laredo and then we go to Piedras Negras and then we come all the way back down to Mexico City and all in a bus. I feel like you just use that as an excuse to show us all that you can roll all your R's. No, because everybody else knows that I can roll my R's, yeah. so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan Marcouliar. would like to be to Jonathan Weraloka. Okay. And he has asked, do you, and we know you, you train in the ballerina. We know you're, you're a fitness competitor. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other hidden secret talents that we have not disclosed yet? Fashion designer, we know that. Yeah, I mean, if it's a secret and I tell you, then it's no longer a secret. That's the point, yes. So we'll leave it at that. All right, no answer. <laughs> to Jonathan. To That's Jonathan. it? Yep. Where look yep. Michael, can we get it into that pile that you're looking at for uh, Craig Mealy at 625 because Dale and Anthony is out? All right, so we are going to put this gear from Craig Mealy at 625. On the clock, 60 seconds. Okay, guys, so if someone else wants to steal it, I, I honestly thought this could go for a thousand bucks, so maybe it will. Yeah, we haven't opened up the office bid yet, uh -oh. so we'll see. But Jonathan, keep your Marcoulin. best coming, guys. Another minute to get this in your collection. Aaron Boss to Aaron, North Grafton, Massachusetts, double A R O N, second Aaron of the night. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. We're going to put this on a 10 second clock. Last oh, chance. 635. Hard uh, to kill. 635. Keaton. Come on, guys. Did, has Keaton been bidding or did yes, Keaton come in? Yes, he's been bidding. All right, yeah. Keaton. Yeah. Well, we don't allow people just to jump in here and snipe the bid, so we're going to let Craig have a chance yeah. to respond. And he did. There we go. So. Keaton, thank you so much for let's participating. Let's keep it going. Come but on. Let's, let's wrap it up, too, because... I'm going to sign it on air this time. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we, there we go. Right back, back and forth. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Keaton. We appreciate your uh, support. That's what makes these uh, Sign It Live so great. That's why you know, we get a reputation here of uh, some of our customers bidding big. So yeah. You, you might have checked in with Tessa before you showed up here. I might have. She said, yeah, it's worth bringing something, but... Uh, so let's don't don't disappoint guys. We appreciate it. She brought the good stuff, so let's pay her uh, handsomely for it. Perfect. All right, Dominic McGoldrick. All right. From the UK to Dominic. Craig is in six eighty five. Keaton up to seven hundred. Guys, I love watching this. Awesome guys. So, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate it. I appreciate when I have multiple people having uh, fun, participating, identify the high quality stuff that you're bringing. And is this is this the final mail? Is this the final piece here? I mean, we have turnbuckle pads. So oh, that's right. We have turnbuckle pads. So this is not the final piece. I, I didn't know how quickly I needed to wrap up the uh, the auction. There we go. Frank Smallwood. Frank. To Frank. <laughs> Keaton is at 700, and we are saving the main events for last. The turnbuckles. I think we had 10 turnbuckles, right? Yes. There we go. Frank, thank you. Thank you, Frank. Oh, you snuck in one more figure here. Yes. Back, back to the pen. Matthew Wilson, Meriden, Connecticut. <coughs> Craig 
Craig, if you could let us know if you're out, please. Matthew. Let us know uh, what's Craig up. Is, Craig is out if you want to put uh, Ke Keaton. All right, Keaton at 700. Everybody else that has challenged Keaton has failed. We'll put this on our strict 30 second clock. $700 to Keaton. Who literally, Keaton, I'm signing your stuff right now. You're bidding on this. And, and signing. I'm signing. What timing? Figures. Couldn't have worked out any better. Keaton obviously is a very big fan of yours. Keaton's picked up this. Mm -hmm. Keaton, you're now. Gonna get this sign. This is gonna be to Keaton, KO champion. Sweet. Keaton, Keaton, this will officially make you Thank the you biggest so fan much. of the night. Thank you so much. To Keaton, KO champ. Mm -hmm. Are we going light blue on this or yeah. pink? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Keaton, one more for you. To Keaton on this one as well, or just a signature. Just your signature. Right. I can't let people know we don't talk. <laughs> All right, Keaton. No, what? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like ah. I, I I find it funny how you saved it, and then you put this right on the turnbuckle. So if it did pick it up, it would go on the turnbuckle. Just everything's step. fine. Yeah, just, everything is fine. <laughs> Do you watch the show, Michael? All right. And the first of ten turnbuckles. Look at these. Tonight. These are so cool. See, you've never had a turnbuckle made for you before. No. Right? I mean, sure you've had action figures and micro ballers, but no, I've never, never seen. I've never seen a turnbuckle. Now I just want to get a ring, just so I'll have like tie it up. I know where you can get a ring. <laughs> I heard you have a hookup. <laughs> All right, let's do your best. All right, we so just she, just your signature. We, we decided yeah. to do wear, so the wear a loca on the top, and if you could sign on the bottom. Okay. Yep. And that strict thirty second clock just became about two minutes. Has anyone challenged Keaton, or is no. Keaton the winner? I think Keaton's our Keaton, winner. Keaton, I think you're our winner. All and right. there's the first. This looks Freeman. great with that the yellow. Does. See, Keaton, that's why you let us decide. See, it looks great. So, Keaton, uh, we're going to invoice you. Congratulations. Thank you're you, the Keaton, winner. so much for Please doing page. that. Here's the, here's Keaton's invoice. Keep feeding me these turnbuckles. Yeah, give him a second. Vamp, buddy, vamp. I need a nuclear heat for Patrick. Oh, it's under there. Gosh, you are on it. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, you are on it. This isn't the first show we've done. <laughs> it's not? No, no. I mean, we can't remember Patrick. Yeah. Right. All right, and this one, just your signature on this. Mm -hmm. All right, Patrick Murray, Medford, Massachusetts. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Let, let him know that uh, Brody King will be doing the same thing, and we do have some turnbuckles left for him on Thursday. That's right. Yeah, so if they want to get him now, head to high spots. High spots, auctions.com, very limited run on Brody. You can see them, but they are still available. Very rarely are they available once the show starts. So this is Craig Mele. He, he was a big bidder on this gear. He just came up short, but he's going to pick up one of these turnbuckles. He's from Nottingham, Maryland. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Greg, thank you. John, this is John Minicucci again, Glassport, Pennsylvania. Oh, there we go. Somebody wouldn't even, you noticed. You got to turn <laughs> right side up. Uh, Michael, just be uh, on one of those. I will tell you, we had a customer that wished that it did not get inscribed. So if you want to check this, the list before you do it, it's in the pile. Somewhere. Oh, it's a, so yeah. they, they said they did they not. They said they did not want it inscribed, but just a signature. Okay. There we go. go. Thank you, John. And this is Tyler Chapman, who also picked up one of the Brody, so you're going to be getting two turnbuckles this week. Thank you, Tyler. A reminder of those of you who joined us late, guys, we are working through the trip to Texas. We are definitely past the halfway point, but we have hundreds and hundreds of orders still left to ship. We've had people in here overnight shipping. We've had people in here early morning shipping. Awesome. We are we are working through it. So this one's for David Raja, Fort Worth, Texas. There we go. Frank Ferraro. 
Frank from Yonkers, New York. Frank also picked up a Sting Icon turnbuckle, so. Two turnbuckles in your box. Darren Lilly. Let's see, let's start with that. We also had some photos. Darren got two photos here. If you can make it out to Darren, D A double R I N, mm -hmm. La, Vera, La Vera Loca. Both photos, he wants the same inscription. What? Fair question. Darren would like to know how you stayed healthy during quarantine. Woo! A struggle. And then when it says it wasn't, is a liar. <laughs> no, I've got, I've got 20 pounds to verify that. I, that was my quarantine 20, so. No, it was hard. There were some days that I was like, some weeks and like months that I was very, very motivated, and sometimes it was just like, oh my gosh, like when is this over kind of thing. And gym's closed in California. Yeah, everything's closed. And thankfully, in my castle, I have <laughs> my gym. Which, which level? Uh, on the main floor. On the main floor. Yeah, obviously. But yeah, no, it was a struggle, but um, I just tried to allow myself to be a little bit miserable once in a while and then just kind of dust myself off and mm -hmm. get going again. All right, Junior Martin, Marion, Virginia. There you yeah, go. So picked up two photos. Let's start with this one. This will be... Two Junior, where a loca? Mm -hmm. Favorite road food? Uh, in America or I'm in sure, Mexico? Sure. In America. In America. In America, I think that the most boring thing, but that's the best thing, is I'll eat the uh, Starbucks egg white bites all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's oh. a healthy thing to eat. Or it's a lot of Subway. Okay. A lot of Subway. Which egg bite do you get? They have like three different styles. I just get the, uh, the egg white one that has the yeah. red peppers in the it. Yeah. That's one. Same to Junior. Wear a logo. Yeah. Junior also wants to know any good Bowie or Presley stories. Oh. Well, other than the fact they have their own Instagram. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, they're very, both of them have very different personalities. Bowie is extremely hyper, and Presley is, as you can tell, pretty chill. Uh, so they play, fight, like we always, you know, they're second generation wrestlers, okay? So they fight a lot, and Bowie is a little bit bigger than Presley, so Bowie kind of picks on him, and he actually, like, pulls out his fur. And we've had to, like, give Presley a turtleneck when he starts doing that. Oh, yeah. Man. It's really sad and also very cute, though, so. <laughs> Kyle Scott, you are the last one up other than our auction winners. Should Kyle we? Scott wants for Kyle. Or you are Vera a loca. loca. All right. And on this, right. One. this one he wants you to write the Queen of the North, XO. Kyle would like for you to sign with AEW and take the belt from Sheeta. I mean, I've never wrestled her before either. Look at all these first. All these first time matches. First time matches. And this one still the same, right? Yep, we're a logo. Yep. Kyle asked the proud your your most proud match in lucha in all of them of your career in Mexico. And all of my career in Mexico? That's yep. so much. I know. <laughs> uh, then I'll go with the street fight with Ayako that I mentioned earlier. Because that was the one that most people talked about. It was an opportunity to, that saw like a totally different side of me that I had, you know, bleeding all over the place. Uh, but it was also just something that really like 
that was also the same ring and the same arena where Pero died. Mm -hmm. So it was like a very emotional day for me just because it was kind of the first time I'd been back there since it happened. So, and Ayaka was also a, f a family friend of his and grew up with him. So we were both in there to just put on the best show we could. All right, this is one of our first auction winners. Michael Brewer won these earlier, and he just wants you to write Ring Worn and your autograph. All right, so. Whatever color you wish. Impact Ring Worn. I think the best way of doing it. Yes. Impact Ring Worn? No, no. I'm talking about those, sorry. Okay. See? That looks good, right? It looks great. Okay. I didn't think it would sign on the felt, but it does. Just gotta hold it down. Right. There's one. There you go. Thank you so much for purchasing those today. All right, and this one was who won this again? This, the, this was the Impact Ring one. So which? Uh, which? Drawing blank. Give me a sec. Uh, uh, Mike, we have. Uh, Not the ones that are Parker. on her ears, Mike but Parker. Mike Parker. Mike Parker won this. Yes, yeah, and then Adrian right. Calderon won the others. Okay, so All this right. one's from Mike Parker. Should I want be. you to write Impact Ring one. What color would you like to use? I'm trying to decide. I know you don't like silver. It's your call. We need like a really new one. You can do a silver. You want a silver paint? That's new silver Sharpie and that's a silver paint. I will let you go with whatever you wish. You want to test it out there? Yeah. It's good. I, think I'm gonna, I feel like this one's going to run into the fabric. Okay. okay. <laughs> if not, we'll switch to gold. Yeah. Switch to gold? I think. See? See? Silvers are useless. This one's a good one that I had over here. Okay, stick with that. If that works. If not, we have paint pens we can try. That's working. Yeah, I now I'm I'm never gonna use silver again. So you think you've, you've shown you. me the way. I've cured you. <laughs> The silver works on glossy photos. That's about it. Very yeah. nice. And before we take those off your head, we're going to do the Keaton Sh Schaefer has paid. Thank you very much. You're going to have to say goodbye to your last ever pay-per-view gear on Impact. And I'm sure he wants every piece signed, right? So the blue gear, yeah. the ones Impact Wrestling, uh, Ring Worn, Hard to Kill, Autograph, and La Huera Loca, and then everything and then, else is just an autograph. Just, okay. Right. Does he want it on the inside or on the outside? He did not specify. All right, Keaton, I know you're watching, so let us know if you want to sign difference. on the inside of the gear or the outside. I'll right. start with these and just autograph these because these are, I'll just go on the outside for these. On these ring gauntlets, do you want it on the outside? Do you want it on the inside? Just however you're going to display it. Okay, those are done. And we will wait for Keaton because Keaton. Don't want watching. to mess that up for you. Let us know, Keaton. Inside, outside. Do it. You want to do the head? You want to do those next real quick while we wait for Keaton? Sure. Oh, this I can hear everything. Adrian, have I been on. screaming this whole time? <laughs> All right. Autograph and wear a logo. Get out of here. No more silver. <laughs> he said outside. 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 All right. He would love. For the rest of the year pieces, he also wants ring one. Ring one. Inside or outside? They're all outside. Yeah. All okay, outside. So those are done. All right. So that is for Adrian Calderon. Thank you. All right. Off her, off her head. She's gonna, she's gonna leave here freezing. <laughs> all right. So on the outside of all of these. On the outside of all of them. Just ring right. worn. And a signature. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna make an edit just so know. you know. She put a mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Two. 
all right, this will be a bit easier. Yeah. We're stealing this, guys. We're going to make this pattern tomorrow. <laughs> Also a reminder guys that on Thursday we're going to put the sign Taya Valkyrie micro ballers on sale so don't forget to watch VGT and pick up yours very limited amount. Alright All right. so on this he wanted Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill. Right. And then ring worn and your arm. We need to have some stretchers in here. Yeah, especially because it's this. Chelsea, thing. please. Can I, can I get some help, some Chelsea? Stretchers. Please. Please. <laughs> please. please. Perfect. Didn't do my half, sorry. Mm -hmm. Damn. Thank you, Chris. Are you okay, buddy? Need water? Oh, he's coughing. Is that it, guys? We're, we're done. I think guys. We're done. Taya, thank you so much. Thank you Presley, for having thank me. Thank you for letting us borrow your mom for <laughs> well over two hours now. We appreciate it. And yeah. guys, it's once again, a reminder boy. that we are working through a very busy week from Texas. We're getting those orders out. But this week continues on Thursday where we have Brody King at VGT. And then this Saturday, are we ready to discuss or we want to wait for Jake? I'll just give a tease. This Saturday. Just don't give it away. He'll kill you. This Saturday, oh, yeah. we're doing something we've never, ever done before. Is that a good tease? Ooh, exciting. Yeah, yeah that's fine. All right. I'll let Jake tell you exactly what that is, but never, ever before. Thanks for having me. And, uh, yeah, follow me on social media and, and get on tyvalkyrie.com. And, and buy your new new, uh, your, new your track new shit. coming that's out right. in February. Absolutely. So. Thanks, guys. Good night. Bye.